Hi guys, Linda here. It's time for the um, 52, hmm, hand, 52 tags handmade. And I, and it's, you're making um, hmm, hexagons, I think it is. So I'm going to use these three circles. And I used a die cut. I used my um, dimension, my favorite thing two and a half inch die cut for it because I just could not cut a circle to save my life. I don't know how people did it. <laughs> Mine would be so crooked. It would be a hexagon just from cutting. So I need to plug in my iron because you have to iron this one. I am not an ironer, so <laughs> just like my pinning. But, so we have our little tags in here while the iron heats up. Here's my little tag. Mine are awfully little, so I can't put much on them. So this was week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and week six. So this is week seven, and there's going to be 52 of these. Oh boy, some fabric to use as a base. And I have this, um, it was... You know like a dresser scarf and I like this it just has a lot of threads that are kind of thick so that's going to be my base just let it for irons it green so it must be hot enough all right let's see if we can do this so they folded it in well that's the outside they folded it in half Think in half again. But you gotta line it up good. Okay. And then this is nice thin material, so this should work. So then, well, I don't see that point anymore. I, I see. You gotta be careful so that you don't uniron what you already ironed. Okay. So then you take this point. And put it there. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> and then you take this point and put it to the middle. And then you take this point and put it towards the middle. You know, they used to make these things, I think they were called yo yo's. But I don't think they turned out to be hexagons. I think they were turned out to be little circles. So you keep taking the point that you make to the middle. I was watching someone make it yesterday and they were going, ouch, ouch, ouch. I must have um, fingers that have been burnt so many times that it's not hurting me. Okay, this one to the middle. That's a nice little hexagon so far. So good. And that one to the middle. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. I can really see the hexagon. And I'm just going to hold this down here and hope that it stays. I should use some of that fusible web inside there. That would hold it, wouldn't it? Okay, get a pin. And just to hold it, I'm just going to put a little tack in there. And I think it should be tacking all of them because they're all right on top of one another, right? Well, that was pretty easy. So I'm not sure if we're supposed to put the hexagon on like this or like this. I think either way it's pretty cool with a little button. I like it that way. All right, I'm going to press the other ones. See if I can do it like I did before. Could have made the circles different um, sizes, but I 
I don't know, I thought two and a half would make, you know, a doable size. Now it's a little hot. There we go. That looks better. A good hexagon, all the sides are going to be the same size. It, the circles are making it hard for me to see that. I think that one is a little shorter. That side's a little shorter than this side. Just a little. But that is because of the I mean, I think I'm just seeing that because of the dots on the fabric. Oops, that's the wrong side. I'm trying not to press in the middle there because then I erase my lines. Never thought of making a hexagon this way. This is just great. I love these, you know, challenges or whatever they are um, because of the stuff you learn. It's just so fun. Well, that's not going to work. See, that has to leave a nice point there. Alrighty. So now I just need to stitch them on here and embellish it a little bit before I take that thread off of there. I think I'm going to sew this one on. I think I'll sew this one this way and maybe this one that way. Should I go down like that? Hmm. might be kind of cool to do it that way. All right, so this one is going to get sewn in down here with the folded part up. Oops, it helps if you knot your thread. So I'm going to put this one on here is going to be a little trickier because I think maybe I'll just sew this like this. Do I want it that way or do I want it this way? I think I want it this way just for something different. Okay, then I'm just going to sew it this way. just picking up a little bit of the fabric and trying not to go through to the front. I wanted to use this on my last one. Just thought it was kind of fun. Put a little bit down the side like that. And they're hexagons too, aren't they? Well, I think so. I should have put it on before I sewed those on. I could have put the whole thing on. That would be cool if I had silver. Uh, let's see. I was making these at Christmas time and I didn't really finish them. This is what I was making. They're cute. To put on some cards. So I need to finish up some of those. So here have it on felt and maybe on a future card you will see it. I thought I had yeah I had um, foil like you know this thread but I don't, I don't know if I have any more of that this needle might be way too big for this but let's just see okay so the one I want to do for here, those are already stitched on. What I want to do for here is come up through the middle. Oops. <laughs> uh, might help to knot it, huh? 
It's good to know I have all these buttons I can use. <laughs> I'm going to use this one though. Look, I have a KO, but I'm not sure I like that button flopping around like that. No. Sorry, button. Do over. It's kind of spinning around there. I guess maybe pins would help so they stay in place. This needle may be a little too thick. Oh, there we go. I like that one. I think I'll just do that to each one of the points on this one. You want to hold this, but not too tight. If you hold it too tight, you can't get your needle through it. But if you hold it too loose, then you're not, you know, your French knot doesn't come out very good. Going through a lot of thicknesses there, so that makes it kind of hard. It's a good idea every once in a while when you're doing this to let your string, you know, your needle spin out, <laughs> spin out of control. You can obviously see that I don't have this centered because this one's longer than that one and that one's longer. Oh well. I keep pulling it out of frame, don't I? See how it's curling like that? That's why it's good to spin your needle out once in a while. That can get to be a mess. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Now I want to make sure I knot this because that knot will just fall right out unless I do something back here with it. Boy, when I edit my videos, I just, uh, I feel like I talk so softly. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm home alone and I'm just like talking to myself out loud or what. But I always have to go in and make the volume louder on the voice bar and the editing thing takes me a long time you know some of my videos are 45 minutes and then 45 minutes it's like I think I want to do this too um, so it's 45 you know 45 minutes to an hour when I'm recording it so it takes longer than that even to edit it because you know you have to stop and chop and do all that stuff so But what else do I have to do, right? Okay, we're gonna see if we can do some nice stitches around the edge. I don't think I want that needle. I need a smaller one with a big head. See, there's a small one with a big head, but it's not pointy. It worked. All right, let's hope I have enough. <laughs> oh, and I wanna put this on too. And it's gonna have to get put in with this. So, right there, around here. Let me see if I can tuck it in. Right there. All right, so when I get there, I'll do it. Put a knot here. I wouldn't be able to do anything very neat you know, like if I want to do a nice little blanket stitch or anything like that, it's really hard to do with that big old fat needle. Okay, just as long as I have enough of this. Tuck it under when I do it. Okay, whoop, I don't need the cardboard under there, do I? All right, start from the back. So I want to come in here just a little bit. Try to catch all this stuff. 
and I'm going to wrap my thread around like that. And I think this is called the blanket stitch. Oh, this, you know, this floss is not very nice. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So just a little tiny stitch. And I, like I said, I would not be able to do it with that bigger needle. So see, that looks kind of bad, but when you pull it up like this, and then you catch it from behind here, and that's when it works. I'm gonna go through here, because that's only two pieces, not four. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I hope you can. Or maybe it'll get tacked down when I tack the whole thing to the tag. So I can't remember who I was watching the other night, but um, she was trying it by, in, you know, like instead of ironing or I don't know, she was tacking it, tacking these down each time and um, versus ironing. And I think she decided ironing was better. So I think that was why I ironed. I'll try to put the name up there. Now a really good stitcher would have all these little stitches exactly the same, but I'm just a fun stitcher. <laughs> I do think this needs something in the middle, like a really, maybe a really small, oh, I, I know, I could put a bead in it, couldn't I? I don't have to put a, I don't have to put a button. I have some little, like, silvery beads. Okay. All right, now we're going to do this right, hopefully. So... What I'm gonna do is, maybe I should just do it on those three. I'll start in the middle here. Okay. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna make a big stitch, come back in the same spot, and then make, I didn't come out in the same spot though, same spot. This is important to come out in the same spot in my head right now. Okay. Just pretend I did. And then I'm going to go like this. Come back in the same spot. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine what you're all saying. Get rid of that stuff. And now my threads are all different sizes. Oh boy, I'm at an hour and three minutes. This video is going to take me forever to edit. I will put a little punch knot there. A little one. Here we go. That's what I want to do. All right, I'm coming up to this one. Let's hope I have enough floss. I don't know why these are all so uneven here. Let's see. I'm just going to cut them off a little bit. See if that helps. I don't know. Even in the back. All right. Make the big one. Come in through the same hole if I can, or pretty darn close to it. I might not even want to post this video. It's taken so long. Okay. 
back to the beginning of this stitch. See if we can get a couple of them done without having to rip out. So when I come up from this one, I need to spread out just a little bit. It's like how many mistakes do you have to make before you get it right? You know, it's just that you don't do this all the time, and that's what makes the difference. All right, French knot. When I do my knots, I wrap towards me, and I think Anne wrapped away. So I don't know. Those, well, they might be a little different than that knot, because that's really a big knot. These are little knots. All right, now, do I want to put, I don't think I have room to put one there. All right, let's see if we can do one without a big mistake. I was going to turn the camera off and do these then, but I've made so many mistakes that I feel like I'm not showing you how to do it. I think I would have liked to come up a little further down than that. There. There we go. Okay, so come out kind of far, go into the same hole, if you can, and then out a little ways, but shorter, and then back up into the same hole, and out a little ways, and back into the same hole. If I go to look at this video to edit it and I'm not in the camera I am going to be so upset okay almost there one more and then I want to put little silver balls on it but I don't know if I'll do that silver beads are not they're kind of glass beads One more. Ooh, that's kind of coming untucked there. So that'll be a good thing to have that in there. Okay, one more. Now I want to put some beads in there, but I do want to put this on here. So this has to get, oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, this piece is going to get cut off. And that piece is tucked on, is tacked on there. Let's see how hard these are going to be to sew in. Oh, they got like little triangles, you know. But I want it to go like that. I guarantee there is. I'm not sure if I don't just one or if I want three. One, two, three. I think I'm going to try to do three. little cluster. I like that. Okay. And I'm going to put three more down on this end. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is put a little bit more of this stuff on. So I think I'm going to put some up here. Should have really put this on first. Get a little piece down here, maybe, maybe, maybe. That should be good. All right, I like that now. Snip this off. Now I just have to sew it to the tag. Now I could put a little bit more down here why I'm tacking that down. So these are little hexagons too. I don't know why that looks so clumpy there. Let's get that thread. Okay, I must have curled up a piece here. There we go, that's better. 
All right. Oh, I should have done it in the middle, too. I didn't on the other side. It just gives it a little sparkle, right? Who doesn't like a little sparkle? And then knot it, and then all I have to do is my journaling on the back. I hope I went through there. That's going to make a mess. Okay. One more. Here. And through here. There we go. All right. Tag number seven, and it's hexagons. Ah, if you stuck with me through this whole thing, I'm really going to try to make it shorter, but hopefully I can. But thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.